That should be. Lizzie, hey Lizzie, you see you walk. I think I'm still waking up. Lizzie is favoring her left hind leg, but she is putting weight on it. Um, I think that she might have had a leg fall asleep on her and she's remembering. She's moving it so it's not broken. She's definitely putting weight on it. So I think she either sprained it or she had her leg fall asleep on her and she remembers that it did not feel good because it was, she definitely acted like her leg was not there right after waking up. And the best thing for her is just time right now. I did not rush in because I did see her put weight on it. And if I had rushed in, the only thing I would have solved is to freak me out and freak everybody, all the viewers out. I did evaluate, went back on the DVR to look at prior to it and I couldn't see any strong sign of her favoring it. Mom, I'm trying to scoot that way. It wasn't caused by mama. It's probably some sort of freak thing. She did stand up on it. You saw that when she when I came in. There's Tabby. She might have sprained it trying to climb the fence. She is very vocal. And she's grooming her leg now. For the entire length of it, she just did. So if it was broken, she would not be doing that.
Yep, she showed no reaction to me rubbing her leg, lightly rubbing it. And I could feel nothing wrong. She's still happily grooming away. So yeah, I classify this as possibly a, a light sprain. Yeah, it could be growing pains too. She's growing like a weed now. But the important thing is that while I was reviewing the footage, that she went from clearly favoring it to only slightly favoring it over like 10 minutes. She's still favoring it just like right now, but she's not showing any signs of discomfort other than that. Just showing signs of looking really freaking cute. She's playing. But again, importantly, she stood on her leg when I came in and stayed standing on it. Yeah, and I will be keeping a really close eye on it to see if it gets worse. If it does, if I see signs of it getting worse, I'll be making a call to the vet immediately. But right now, what the vet would tell me is observe, see if it gets worse. And she had some good nursing with mama fairly recently. Did you lose your voice? Small miracles. <laughs> Look at you being so cute, I'm trying to get it so, okay, let me see what's my battery, 55%, it's periscope time, this is just being too cute. Pages manager as a periscope. <sighs> Thankfully, Paris, but my phone now automatically changes Fister to Foster. Sheesh. Okay, going live.
she's purring. What's your other leg? <laughs> I had to cancel my trip down to the fur ball because Shelby was avoiding the nest area and nursing her and I had to figure out why. Too many changes over a week's time she could not approve. She's back to nursing her now. She gained twenty two and a half grams yesterday with several encouraged nursings because she had a pretty low gain the day prior of only like three and a half grams. Here's mama right there. I decided not to fly down later just because if mama was avoiding the nest just fixing it and seeing her go in there doesn't mean that she wouldn't start avoiding it again so I had to be sure This is kind of my favorite age where they just lay on their back and wave their paws. She's not stuck. If she wanted to flip over, she could. Very easy. Trying to make it so the YouTube cam can pick her up. Plus, she seemed to have sprained her this leg right here earlier. So I'm keeping an eye on that. <laughs> Almost like I, I could play too. She's putting her weight on the leg. Whoopsie daisies. Where are you going? Okay, I'm going to stop the, the broadcast now because Mama's distracting me. Alrighty. Thank you for joining. She's being really cute now. And I want to check out her hind paw. 
pain. Okay, let's put her back in the nest area. I don't see her walk. Put you where you have a smell, familiar smell. Okay. I'll be right back. She's definitely favoring the leg now, so I'm gonna call the shelter, but. Right? 